My name is Shella Gallardo and I have been training with Sensei Tats for three years. I trained when I was 14, 14 to 19. So I trained for five years when I was a teenager and then I quit for, I don't know, 15 years. <laughs> I, I left the Okanagan. I was training with Sensei Terry Price and Sensei Larry Robinson. And then I had to go to school in the Kootenays. And there was no dojo near where I was going to school. I was at Selkirk College. And then after Selkirk College, I came to Vancouver and I was starting my career, marriage, children. So there was no time really to get back into it. There was a lot of kids that were my age that were training in Salmon Arm with Sensei Terry Price. And I had a lot of like friends that were girls. So we all went together. It was like a big group thing, and we, we trained together, we hung out together. It was, it was really nice. So that's how I, I got into it in the first place. I was confident. I was brave. I was, I don't know, I, I felt a little bit safer, a little bit more confident in who I was. When, when you're a teenager, you're, I don't know, you're crazy. and. So it was nice to have some kind of grounding discipline. It's good to have that extra little bit of self-defense too. If something's going to happen, okay, I'm not going to cry, I'm not going to run screaming, I'll be able to do something. I might not win, but I'll do something. So after my second child was born, I suffered from postpartum depression. And I was, he was about a year old and I had to go back to work and they put me on medication and the medication was really hard on my stomach and I was, it was making me tired and I couldn't function. So I was, I was just, I was miserable and everybody else around me was miserable. So I tried to think of a time in my life when I was feeling the strongest and it was when I was in karate. So I thought, okay, I will continue taking my medications, but I'll, I'll just see. And, um, I looked on the internet. There was a lot of dojos in the area, but I recognized Sensei Tatsu's name from when I was a teenager. So I called him up, and he said, sure, come, come try. So I came. My first karate class was um, on a Tuesday. Sensei Tats teaches the Richmond East Dojo on Friday. So my first class was with Senpai Alex, and um, at the time, he was training for his second degree black belt. So I am convinced to this day that that was the hardest class that I've ever been to in my life. And um, my first class, I was like, I don't know if I can keep doing this. This seems so hard. And, and it, was, it was quite difficult. I, there was fighting that first class, and I was really out of shape. But there was people there that were, they were older than me. There was people there that were bigger than me. There was people there that were out of shape, and they were still doing it. So I thought, okay, I'm going to keep trying. So I kept coming, Tuesdays and Fridays, and I just kept going. And after about three months, I realized, I'm doing really good. I feel excited, and I'm happy. And then I went off the medication, and I haven't gone back since. So for that, I'm so thankful. Um, it is always uh, uh, busy for, for her to um, uh, uh, come to dojo and also, of course, taking care of the, uh, her family and her career at this uh, law office. But um, I really uh, respect her decision to, uh, to firstly come to the dojo twice a week regularly. She uh, actually hardly missed any classes. And secondly, she actually uh, made a harder decision to uh, fight in this tournament. That will. Uh, that would have to actually require her to create more time for training, so, and uh, she managed it. So I really respect uh, her for, for those uh, difficult decisions. My first tournament was after one year I was training, and I went to Newton. But um, I was so sick. I was really stressed out. I had been training, but I got a really bad cold. So I went in anyways. It was exciting. It was my first tournament 
in, I don't know, 15 years. So I went, I came in second. I lost to a really tough competitor uh, that year. And um, I felt I could have done better, so I, I wanted to try the next year. So I went back to the Newton tournament last year, and um, I fought her again, and this time I beat her. Once you get in the ring, it's kind of hard to, to concentrate. You're so focused. It's like you have tunnel vision. You're really focused on your opponent, and you don't really see what's going on around you. You just go, go, go. And it's hard to like stop and calm down and think and, and try to strategize. It's something that you wouldn't normally do in, in life. I have a bucket list, things that I want to do before I die. One of those things is to get my black belt. But with karate, it, it's given me a balance, a focus, a discipline. It's keeping me in shape. There's so many things I can't even tell you. I, um, I was jumped at a bar on my birthday, and I was able to fend off my attackers. And um, I don't think I would have been able to do that if I hadn't had training in karate. I was calm. I was able to like not freak out. And I, I, I f defended myself, and then they, they ran away. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was pretty exciting. <laughs> I went home after that. Since I've joined, I noticed that there's not that many female um, role models in karate. The ladies that I see that go to the summer camps and the winter camps, they're kind of elderly, and um, they can't do a lot of the stuff that the younger generation can do. I'd like to see more women out there. I'd like to see more examples. I need. I need to see somebody who can show me where I stand in it. And um, I'd like more, more girls to, to do this. It's not easy, but the benefits are, are huge. I did okay. I won my first match, and then for the second, um, my second fight, I lost against Tomomi. She was the better fighter this um, this fight. I felt like I couldn't unleash what I wanted to. I thought I had more time, but Tomomi, she won. She did a great job. I think I'd like to try again, maybe. I did pretty good, but I think there's a little bit more somewhere there that I'd like to maybe give it another shot. Well, you know, I'm relatively low belt. I've got a yellow belt, and there's so much that I still need to learn, so I'm just gonna keep training and keep learning what I can from all the black belts, all the fighters. I'll do what I can.